When it comes to streaming and entertainment in general, the subject of 4K has certainly become increasingly popular. Here at Cord Cutters News, we're no strangers to the subject, whether it's discussing services that are adding 4K support or ones where the option is still missing. But we've heard from some of our readers and viewers who would like to know more about what 4K is and why it's important, or at least why it could be important depending on the consumer. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the standard, what it means, what are the benefits, and where you can enjoy 4K content. This is a Cord Cutters News Guide to 4K. What is 4K? In short, 4K is a generic term used to describe a video resolution also known as ultra high definition. For most of you viewing this video, whether you're watching on a phone or iPad or a 55 inch OLED TV, your display is composed of a grid of pixels and each pixel can be assigned a color value and together those pixels produce the images and video you're watching right now. And one way to describe the total number of pixels on your screen is to discuss it in terms of resolution, often listed as the number of horizontal pixels per row times the number of vertical pixels per column. And those resolutions are used to discuss not just the displays themselves, but also the various types of content you watch on them. When DVDs first came to market, you might have seen resolutions like 720 by 480 mentioned, meaning that the video offered on those DVDs uh, came in a grid of 720 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. In the high definition or HD era, we started seeing resolutions like 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080, which offered up more detail and clarity compared to earlier low resolution videos. Fast forward to today, where 4K is gaining in popularity among content creators, services, and consumers. Now, there are a couple different resolutions that fall under the generic 4K umbrella, but for home media and the typical consumer, 4K can be generally understood as 3,840 pixels by 2,160. And if you're wondering why it's called 4K, it's because the number of horizontal pixels comes out to around 4,000 pixels. The movie projection industry's version of 4K actually comes out to around 4,096 pixels by 2160. Now, you might be looking at those resolutions and thinking to yourself, those look a lot like math equations. And you know what? You're right. We can complete those equations and show off another way to think of video resolution. So 1280 by 720 equals 921,600 total available pixels. Moving up to 1920 by 1080, and we get 2,073,600 pixels. And then there's 4K with just under 8.3 million pixels, or four times the resolution of 1080. One other popular way of describing video resolution focuses on the vertical number or the amount of pixels per column. So 1920 by 1080 is also known as 1080p. And by the way, that P refers to progressive scan, which basically means each line of video is being displayed in order. This is an improvement over what's known as interlaced video as seen on older analog TVs, where first the even rows were displayed and then the odd rows were displayed afterward. Progressive scan is extremely widespread nowadays and offers smoother and more natural movement in videos. Okay, back to resolutions. 4K video like 3840 by 2160 can also be described as 2160p since it offers 2160 pixels per column. In general, higher resolution offers at least the potential for better video quality and improved detail, but of course it also depends on the quality of the source material itself, how much the video data is being compressed, especially for streaming services where bandwidth uh, can be variable and other factors. How does 4K compare to other resolutions? Time for some visual aids. Okay, so say this screen right now is actually 4K, meaning we've got 3,840 pixels across and 2160 vertically. How do other older resolutions stack up? Well, let's start with good old DVDs at 720 by 480. Now that's 1 24th the resolution of 4K. Let's bring in 1280 by 720 or 720p, and you can see how it compares. In terms of total pixels, 4K offers up nine times the resolution of 720p. Finally, let's bring in the previous gold standard, 1920 by 1080, aka 1080p, aka the resolution your favorite Blu-rays are probably presented in. And you can see that 4K offers up four times the resolution of 1080p. 
So yes, videos presented or encoded in 4K can offer a lot more detail than earlier resolution standards, but you need the right equipment to truly enjoy those benefits. Do I need a 4K display to watch 4K content? Well, yeah, basically. In order to enjoy all 8.3 million or so pixels of 4K video, you're going to need a display that supports 4K resolutions, whether that's a high-end phone, computer monitor, or 4K TV. A 1080p TV won't get you the same detail benefits, even if the video you're watching is in 4K. It is possible you'll get some improved video quality thanks to downscaling, where higher resolution video is scaled down to match your display's output, but it likely still won't match the image quality you could get from viewing a video at its native resolution. Conversely, when your display's resolution is higher than the video contents, that video will often be stretched or upscaled to fill the display screen. Upscaling video can make for blurrier, less detailed video, and it often doesn't compare to video that's natively available at a higher resolution, but some upscaling techniques are fancier than others. We talked about NVIDIA's AI upscaler in an earlier video when we discussed the company's Shield TV Pro streaming device. Do I absolutely, positively have to have 4K in order to enjoy any video content? No. Can you elaborate? Well, sure, if you're going after the most detail and the highest fidelity, then yes, 4K can be rather important to you. But it really depends on how you're enjoying your content and what types of content you're after. If you prefer TV shows on your phone or tablet, 4K might not be as important to you. If your main TV is an older 1080p model, 4K is probably less of a must-have than it might be for others. It really depends on you, the type of content you watch, and how you're watching that content. So as far as declaring 4K an absolute must-have, a nice-to-have feature, or something that's completely irrelevant, well, that's all up to you. Okay, so where can I view 4K content? A number of streaming services offer certain shows and movies in up to 4K resolution, including Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and Hulu. Beyond that, many rental options allow you to select a 4K edition at checkout, often at a premium compared to 1080p versions. On the physical media front, 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays can offer significant visual upgrades compared to the earlier standard Blu-ray 1080p editions. In some cases, movies can be remastered for 4K releases, leading to improvements in overall quality, especially when filmmakers use that opportunity to fine-tune some aspects of the movie, as was the case when The Matrix released its 4K Blu-ray. Director of photography Bill Pope worked with Warner Brothers to address some of the complaints from the older Blu-ray release, including what some viewed as an overdone green tint for large portions of the film. So, the 4K version not only boasts more detail and definition, but also color tones that more closely match what the filmmakers originally intended. While 4K support is certainly popular, it's by no means the absolute universal standard. We recently discussed the launch of HBO Max and its lack of 4K support, despite packing some blockbuster movies in its debut library. What's beyond 4K? I mean, we're just now getting to the point where 4K video is more mainstream than it is the realm of high-end early adopters, but yeah, if you want to know what's beyond 4K video, uh, well, there's 8K video, or 7680 by 4320. If you do the math, you might notice that is indeed four times the resolution of 4K video, or some 33 million pixels. We've seen TV manufacturers start to push higher end and higher margin 8K TVs, but we're likely several, several years away from 8K truly becoming mainstream. But if you're curious what's on the horizon, well, there you go. And that's our look at 4K resolution. And in case you hadn't noticed, we actually uploaded this video to YouTube in 4K for you to try it out if you have an Ultra HD display at home. I hope the added clarity and detail really brings out my quarantine hair, and if it's too much detail, please feel free to use YouTube's quality settings to dial it way back down. In any case, thank you so much for tuning in. We're aiming to bring you even more guides and explainers in the future, including a look at High Dynamic Range Color, or HDR. For now, though, we wouldn't mind if you click the like and or subscribe buttons down below to support our channel and enable us to bring you even more videos soon. And don't forget, we do have a news website, cordcuttersnews.com, where we cover all the latest streaming and cord cutting news. For now, though, my name's Philip Palermo. Thanks for watching in 4K or whatever resolution you chose. Take care. And if you're wondering why it's called 4K, it's because the number of horizontal pickle, pickles? <laughs>